What's up, Rocky family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have some Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs to share, and this is a compilation video, and I know not everyone has seen my previous DIYs, or if they have, they kind of forgot about them, so I want to reshare them so that maybe you are inspired to create this year. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Little question, me and my sister were just having a disagreement. Let me know if you prefer sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie. I think pumpkin pie is like 10 times better, but she is all about sweet potato pie, and though they are similar, they are still different. So let me know your favorite down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. I upload lots of Dollar Tree content, and especially a whole lot of Christmas DIYs coming out soon. With that being said, let's begin the video. We're gonna start off this video with my favorite DIY I did last year in the Christmas season, beside the one you're gonna see at the end. You're gonna get a pole noodle and bend it around to create a wreath. What you wanna do is get some duct tape or masking tape and tape both ends together. Don't be stingy with your duct tape. You do not want your wreath to unravel on you. Now get yourself some ornaments. I recommend going to Dollar Tree for this or getting the big packs at Hobby Lobby for $10. Get yourself a different array of sizes and then you're going to start gluing your ornaments to the wreath. Now initially I was gluing the ornaments so that the gold part was going into the wreath but then I realized it's way better to just glue the ornaments on so that one of the sides is glued directly to the foam and that works 10 times better. I wrapped some twine through my wreath so that I could hang it up and this was the most beautiful wreath I have ever made. This year for sure I'm making more and it was definitely cost effective. I love this wreath. I even bought it in its own storage container because I love it so much that I don't want it to mess up at all. For our next DIY, we're going to be using circle styrofoam pieces from Dollar Tree and paint. I'm using apple barrel paint in real red. And we are going to paint on a peppermint look directly over the styrofoam. You might have to do a couple of layers. It depends on how well the styrofoam takes the paint. Next up, I got some foam gingerbread shapes from Dollar Tree and puff paint. Dollar Tree carries puff paint now. And all I did was take the puff paint and give it some detail to my gingerbread. I used some white paint to make it look like icing, some red and black to give a little details like eyes and a bow. Now I put command strips on the back of my peppermint and gingerbread men to place them on my wall. So basically it looked like a gingerbread peppermint garland. It was so cute, especially in the kitchen. I cannot wait to redo this this year. I had also purchased these foam gingerbread men from Dollar Tree. They're different from the other ones because these are bigger and they're not covered in gold glitter. I did the same thing with my puff paint. I added some details, but this time around I put the peppermint above my windowsill and then I added the gingerbread men between each piece of peppermint. I glued them in place. This garland was to die for. I loved it. This is one of my favorite things to do around the holidays. From Dollar Tree, pick up any of their placemats. They have really cute ones during Christmas time. Now what you're gonna do is you are going to glue them together, two of them together. I used my hot glue gun to do this. If you know how to sew, obviously you can sew this together or you can get witchery stitchery, which is basically, think of like a tape that will fuse the materials together. You're gonna glue three sides together and then fill this up with some poly fiber. I recommend buying a pillow from Walmart. It's under $3 and using the poly fiber that way rather than just buying a bag of it and that's much more expensive once you have your pillow filled with the poly fiber you can go ahead and glue or stitch up the other end and there you have it some really cute accent pillows to put on top of pretty much anywhere you want to another thing you can do is get the pillow covers from Dollar Tree they're a polyester material stuff these up with your poly fiber and glue one of the placemats to the front of it and that way you get that Christmas feel rather than just the plain red color or the plain green color and this is another easy one to do if you do know how to sew, another idea is to take the placemats, sew them together to create a throw blanket. Or you can even place this on top of the ground and put some rug pads under it so that you can have a little accent rug. 
Now these marshmallow mugs were some of my most popular Christmas DIYs last year, but I'm going to share with you guys a different way of doing it. Last year I used sticker paper to print out the faces. This time around I'm using vinyl sticker paper. I like it much more because it's more vibrant when the ink hits that vinyl paper. The faces I got from an Etsy shop, I'll link down below for you guys, it's really inexpensive. And then I use my Cricut to cut out the faces. If you do not have a Cricut, you just use your scissors. Obviously you're gonna need some mugs for this DIY Dollar Tree carries a bunch of different kinds you can use for this once you have your mugs chosen out you can then place your vinyl stickers on the front of your mugs I use different type of sizes of the fudge and just play around with it you'll find whatever you like so this is what they look like and last year I made some fake whipped cream toppers but I use caulk but I'm gonna share with you guys a easier, more fluffy looking way of doing it. From Dollar Tree, you can pick up some lightweight spackle. Sometimes this could be a little hard. You add a little bit of water to make it more lightweight. Or you can go to the hardware store, which I prefer to do, and get a big gallon of it. It's more bang for your buck and you don't have to add any water. You also need some disposable piping bags and then some icing tips. Dollar Tree carries this big pack of tips or you can just go to Michael's and get a tip that will last you longer than the ones from Dollar Tree and I prefer the star shaped tip. Now go ahead fill your bag up with the spackle and basically you're gonna act like this is icy. You'll need a styrofoam ball for this. You'll cut it in half or you can buy halves already made for you at your local craft store. Now place this on a foam type of surface. I prefer to use foam plates now. It just makes it easier for me. And then you take your spackle and just pipe it around the styrofoam ball until you get a shape that you like. You can then decorate this thing. From Dollar Tree, I picked up some Mod Podge, but with a gloss finish and some paint. So what you'll do is you'll add your Mod Podge and paint inside of an icing bag and mix that together. This is going to be hot fudge for me. You can use whatever color that you like. Once you have it mixed up, you take a scissor, cut the very end of the disposable bag, and just place that right over your spackle. The Mod Podge keeps it so that your paint always has a glossy finish, so it looks more realistic. Dollar Tree carries a bunch of little fake foods. I'm going to be using a cookie that I found at Dollar Tree, and I place that inside of my spackle. If the cookie isn't staying for you, you want to take it out, wait for the spackle to dry, and then you could just glue it into place. I had purchased these peppermint ornaments from Hobby Lobby half off last year for two dollars right now it's 40% off so you're gonna pay a little bit more than two dollars and then I place that inside of my spackle I'll also be adding some of these paper straws that I purchased at Dollar Tree I cut them down and then put those inside of the spackle now you want to wait at least 24 hours for this to dry but I really do recommend more than 24 hours but I mean 24 hours is the bare minimum once it has dried you take some scissors and you cut down around your design and you kind of cut in an angle so that you're cutting right underneath that spackle now you can leave it like this you can leave it with that foam plate at the bottom or you can take the foam plate off if you plan on taking the foam plate off you want to wait at least a week to make sure that bottom part has dried and that's how you make these fake whipped cream toppers. If you want to see how I made the other two, what exact items I use, let me know. I will try to upload that in one of my next Christmas DIY videos. Now I'm going to share with you guys how to make a big Dollar Tree Christmas tree using their smaller trees. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your Dollar Tree Christmas tree out of the box and you'll notice at the very top, if you look, there is a hole there and that is where the rod that's holding everything together is. Now you're going to cut the very bottom of your trees off and to do this I actually just use pliers. I bend the um, metal back and forth until it snaps off. If you have some strong wire cutters, you can use those if you want since to. I use pliers to remove the bottom I have to reopen up that hole that's at the very bottom because it gets squished with the pliers now I'm going to use a one-fourth of an inch wooden dowel that I got at Walmart for 97 cents to feed my Christmas trees through so I ended up using four Christmas trees total I had to remove the bottom off of three I fed those through the wooden dowel and then the tree that's at the bottom I didn't remove that bottom part of it I left that on and I added the legs that come with my Christmas tree 
Dollar Tree Christmas trees can be very flimsy looking. They're not very full. So you can get their wire garland and wrap it around the tree to make it more full. And you can also use that garland to kind of fix the width of the Christmas tree. So make it more white at the bottom and then have it more tapered the closer it gets to the top of the tree. Obviously you want to decorate your tree. I use some fake snow that comes in a can. You can get it from Dollar Tree. I sprayed it on the tree. Then I added some white holly berry that I also got from Dollar Tree. I just glued that directly to my Christmas tree all over it. I added some pine cones, which Dollar Tree is carrying pine cones this year in many different sizes. I placed my tree inside of one of these galvanized buckets I got from Dollar Tree and I made sure I weighted it down using some stones because the tree is pretty heavy. If those stones weren't there, it might topple over on me. And that's how I made a large Dollar Tree Christmas tree using the smaller Christmas trees. Our next DIY, all you have to do is get the mini glass containers from Dollar Tree and fill them up with little Christmas things. So I got these mini trees from Dollar Tree. I took a couple apart and I stuck them inside of my glass. I saved the bottoms of those trees to be the tops for my glasses. I also went to Hobby Lobby, got some pieces. I got this candy that I stuck inside of one of the glasses. Just any little Christmas thing that would fit inside of there. It's perfect, especially like the glitter they carry or the fake snow those fit perfectly and you get a lot of bang for your buck then get some christmas potion labels you can go to etsy and find some or you can even go to google images and find some you just print them out and cut them with a scissor and just place them on the front of your glasses with some glue or even use sticker paper and you get these really cute potion bottles you can make bigger ones if you get the glasses from dollar tree that hold seashells these are bigger and they also have a bigger opening so you can place bigger items through them these are great miniatures to put inside of a tear tray or if you have an empty floating shelf inside of your kitchen I did make a storage piece for this and I'll link that video down below for you guys And also if you're interested in every little item that I use to do these in the description box below for you guys You'll be able to find the entire video for this for our next DIY, you're going to need a planter from Dollar Tree and more pole noodles. What you're going to do is you're going to create a bunch of little circles, so essentially wreath forms, using the pole noodles. And you want them to get a little bit smaller the closer that they get to the top. Of course, I'm using duct tape to seal this all off. Now, I'm going to link down below for you guys my pole noodle hack Christmas video. There's a bunch of hacks in there. After I had my wreath forms, I took some Dollar Tree garland there's 15 feet in each pack and i start to wrap it around my wreath forms and when you wrap it around they're actually going to get thicker then with the extra pole noodle i had on hand i fed it through the center of those wreath forms and then i took more garland and basically made a little christmas tree i love this footage that's cooper he was like four months old and now he's gonna be 15 months anyways you're gonna weight the bottom down with some stone so that it doesn't blow over on you and then you start to glue down all of your greenery and then I added some ornaments all from Dollar Tree as well as some small little poinsettias that I also got from Dollar Tree and then I topped it off with a bow and this thing was perfect for inside and outside I actually left it outside for the entire Christmas season and is sitting in my garage ready to go back out Let's do some gift idea DIYs from Dollar Tree. You pick up some of their wooden crates and then paint them whatever color you like. I went with red. Once you have them painted, you glue them together. So I did two rows. The first row had two crates. The second row has four crates, except they're layered on top of each other. Now you can put whatever you want inside of these crates, but I decided to put some cake cups. This is a perfect gift to give somebody who loves coffee. You can fill it up with cake cups and it could be their cake cup holder at home. I love the way that this looks and how it's displayed. I actually did hot chocolate cake cups and then I added some disposable coffee cups. Another one of my favorite gift ideas from last year were sock cupcakes. So pick up some socks from Dollar Tree. During the Christmas season, they have some really pretty fuzzy socks. And then get some candy cups or cupcake liners. And what you'll do is roll the socks up as tight as you can and place them inside of the cups or the cupcake liner. And if you're gonna get cupcake liners, make sure it's plastic 
or um, just something thicker, not the paper kind, otherwise it's gonna unravel on you. So I did this with a bunch of different socks and then get some red pom-poms and place them right in the center of the sock. So it ends up looking like these cute little cupcakes. I got a cupcake cooking pan from Dollar Tree and I placed these all inside of there and it just looks so cute. And if you're afraid they're gonna fall out during transit, get some double-sided tape, place it at the bottom of the cup and in between the baking pan and you're good to go. I wanted to save this next DIY for a little bit later in this video because I just recently remade it. But this is one of my most popular DIYs last year along with the marshmallow mugs, so I had to share it in this video. From Dollar Tree, you wanna pick up some of their wooden crates. I'm going to make two rows, a front row and the back row. The back row is gonna be higher than the front row, so I used 12 crates total. I had four in the front and then eight in the back, except they were layered on top of each other to create the height that I needed. Once I had everything glued together, I went ahead and painted all of this red with that Apple Barrel red apple paint. On the front of each crate, I added a label that I just made on my computer and printed out, then just glued to the front of the crates. And these labels had the ingredients that are going inside of each crate. This is supposed to be a hot cocoa bar. So in the inside, I added ingredients that can go inside of your hot cocoa. So I added cinnamon sticks I got from Dollar Tree, marshmallows, chocolate, cookies, just a bunch of different items. If you're afraid this is gonna go stale on you, you can put these items in individual bags and stick those inside of the crates. So this is what you can make with just the crates. I decided to add some other pieces to my hot cocoa bar. So I got these wooden trays from Dollar Tree and I painted them red. Now I'm going to have two rows, one row is just one tray and then the back row is two trays glued on top of each other. I made two sets of these and I placed those on the sides of my Dollar Tree crates and then I put whatever I wanted on top of there. Now I have a DIY for every little thing that I made down in the description box below for you guys so you can check it out if you want to see how I did the rest of this. Even the pictures are from Dollar Tree so again make sure you look down in the description box below if you haven't seen this tutorial yet. But that's how you make a hot cocoa bar using Dollar Tree products true story about our next DIY I gave this to my mom and she kept it out all year round and it's still up so from Dollar Tree you want to pick up some of their 4x4 picture frames that have this gold trimming now I ended up using 11 total there's three in the back three in the front two on the side and three are gonna go on the bottom you can use as many as you like you just need something for the front back sides and the bottom now I glued everything together using E6000 glue. You wanna use a heavy duty glue and you need something on hand to kinda of hold things in place as you wait for the glue to dry. Once I had the main part of my box done, I then added the bottom just by using that E6000 glue and attaching the picture frames. I wanna glam this up a bit, so I took these square mirrors from Dollar Tree and I glued them to the front of my picture frames. You would just wanna make sure you have enough to cover the front of every single one of your picture frames. And since these are four by four picture frames, the mirrors fit perfectly on the center of them. Now I purchased these square styrofoam pieces from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna place them inside of my box because I'm gonna be adding some floral. Now the floral I used, I got from Dollar Tree. I got these really pretty gold poinsettias, the gold holly berry. I used a wire cutter to cut the pieces off of the main stem and that way I was able to just put them exactly where I wanted to and I just got more bang for my buck doing it this way versus not having the styrofoam and just having to put a bunch inside of the box directly. I even got these really pretty birds from Dollar Tree that I placed inside of my box. I glued on this gold ornament that I got from Dollar Tree and now I have this floral box that is gorgeous. I've done lots of mirror boxes in the past and they were just mirrors. This is a mixture of frames and mirrors so it's a bit more sturdy and it has a really gorgeous look to it because of the gold glitter. Our next DIY is an oldie but a goodie. From Dollar Tree you're going to pick up two of their trucks and now we're going to make these look more 3D, something that you can stand up instead of it just being a flat type of picture. So you want to remove the twine that's on the truck and I'm going to be using these wooden boxes I got from Dollar Tree, two of them total. So technically because I have two boxes I have four pieces of wood because there's the lid and the bottom of the box. And I'm gonna use those pieces of wood to create the hood of the truck 
and the top of the truck so I just kind of take my pieces of wood figure out where I want them to be and then I glue them down. I'll also be using one of these wooden crates from Dollar Tree to be the bed of the truck. Before I glue that down I made sure that my piece that I was gluing to the very top of the truck wasn't going to be pushing out too much in the back and then I added my other piece of the truck. Now I painted the wood in the front red using this apple barrel red paint in red apple. The crate I'm using for the bed of the truck I had stained off camera using Minwax stain and dark walnut. I go ahead and glue that crate to the back of my truck. I went ahead and painted the windows of the truck a dark color and then I took a Dollar Tree Christmas tree, snapped it so that I had the very top portion of the tree so it was just like smaller. With the extra greenery that was left at the bottom I took a piece and made a small little wreath that I glued some holly berry on and placed on the front of my truck. To decorate the Christmas tree I used some red and black buffalo check ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree. I then sprayed some fake snow on top of the Christmas tree and glued that to the bed of the truck. I topped this off with some pine cones and then I have a truck that I could place on a mantle on anything that I want. It's not just something that just kind of stays flat on a wall. This is another really easy DIY. From Dollar Tree you just get some of their rub on transfer stickers and some bowls. You can put whatever you want on the front but what I did is I spelled out reindeer treats and I filled it up with some marshmallows and I just thought this was really cute and really simple. You can make some fake carrots even and place them inside of this and I think that would be a great idea. I've made so many mini Christmas trees in my day and this is by far my favorite. From Dollar Tree, you pick up one of their Christmas trees and I'm gonna be using one of these flowers and garden galvanized buckets that I got from Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna glue the Christmas tree to the very center of that bucket and then add some stones to weigh it down. You add the stones so this thing doesn't fall over on you. Now I picked up one of these truck ornaments from Dollar Tree and I removed the very bottom of it where it says Merry Christmas. I then glue that truck to the side of the bucket so you don't see any of that wording. And I also had removed the um, handles off camera so that those handles from the bucket just weren't there. I then take some red paint and paint the top trim of the bucket red. Now. Dollar Tree Christmas trees are very sparse, so you want to pick up some extra greenery from Dollar Tree. They have like garland and little greenery stems that you can use to wrap around the tree and make it look more full. Because without it, it looks pretty sad. Now I purchased this wire garland with these pretty berries from Dollar Tree. I wrapped that around my Christmas tree. I then added some fake snow because I love making everything look flocked essentially. Then I took some red ornaments I also got from Dollar Tree, placed them on top of my tree. And something I did off camera is I eventually found these small little red truck ornaments from Dollar Tree. I added that to the Christmas tree. This is one of my favorite mini trees that I've ever made using Dollar Tree products. So last Christmas I had purchased these bottle brush trees at Hobby Lobby and I wanted to recreate them using Dollar Tree products. So I purchased these bottle brush trees from Dollar Tree and they're way smaller than the ones from Hobby Lobby. Then I got some bells from Dollar Tree. I got the three colors that they carried and I just glued them to my little trees and I ended up with these miniature versions of what I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I used these all around my house last year. Now since Dollar Tree bottle brush trees are so small, I wanted to give a bigger option of this. So Michaels carries this pack of bottle brush trees. There's a bunch of different sizes, but there's a big size in there that is very similar to the size of the Hobby Lobby ones. Now to these ones, I glued on some ornaments that I got from Dollar Tree. I only could find gold and red. So to get the green that I needed, I ended up purchasing some ball fillers from Michaels and Dollar Tree. And then I just glued those to my trees. And I made a bunch of these for super cheap. Cheaper than what I paid for just one of those little Christmas trees from Hobby Lobby. And this year, Michael is gonna have those in again and then you'll be able to find ornaments and all that good stuff to try to recreate these. And these are gorgeous, let me tell you. Now I had gotten this ornament from Michaels last year and I knew I could recreate it using Dollar Tree products. Dollar Tree every year gets in these Christmas mugs that are perfect for this DIY. So if you're going to use one of the Dollar Tree 
bottle brush trees, they're smaller. So you have to dummy up the bottom of the mug with whatever. So it could be like cotton, toilet paper, just something at the bottom so that the little trees from Dollar Tree stick out. So I kind of made a bigger version of the ornament that I got from Michaels and I absolutely love this. I also found this Santa Claus mug for $5 at Target and I did the same thing to this one I dummied up the bottom and I added a bottle brush tree but this time around I used the bottle brush tree from Michaels and then I went ahead and glued on my little pieces and I just made a bigger version of the one that I made out of the Dollar Tree products this time around with some other products and it's just like I said bigger these are so beautiful I used these in the kitchen last year and on my tear tray we're gonna do another Christmas tree and this is gonna be an enamel Christmas tree so it has that white and black look from Dollar Tree I picked up this galvanized bucket this one is longer than the one you saw me use with the little red truck and I went ahead and I painted that entire thing white just using some acrylic paint now I'm gonna take some black paint and just paint the very top trim of this bucket black then I'm going to take a black paint pen that I got from Dollar Tree and write tree on the very front of this. I did it kind of in the Ray Dunn style where the letters are kind of long. I then glue a Dollar Tree Christmas tree to the center of my bucket. I add some stones so that it stays in there. And then I go ahead and unravel the Christmas tree and add my greenery because like I said, the Dollar Tree Christmas tree can look really sad without extra greenery. I decorated this Christmas tree with some of these ornaments that I got at Dollar Tree. I did remove the bow off the top of them and then I take my black paint and just paint the very middle of the ornament black and then I go ahead and place that on my Christmas tree. I also got some silver ornaments from Dollar Tree that I painted white just using white acrylic paint. I chose silver because I knew it would take less coats of white to make it actually white. And then I just use a Sharpie to write on the front of the ornament to make it look like that Ray Dunn look. If you don't want to do that, you can get these ornaments at Hobby Lobby half off for $2 when everything's 50% off and use those instead. For the start on my tree, I just use one of those white ornaments and I re-glue on the bow. I put the ornament on upside down and then I glued back on the bow. Then I added some white ribbon from Dollar Tree around my tree so that it looked like garland and top this off with some pine cones. And here's a more neutral toned down Christmas tree you can try out using Dollar Tree products. And it's different from the red truck. It's good for those of you who like more muted tones. These are really inexpensive to make using Dollar Tree products. Some Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, of course, we're going to be using that. And then you want to pick up a glass. I recommend the smaller type of glass. I found this one at Dollar Tree. And then you're also going to need some stones to weigh down your Christmas tree. So what you'll do is you'll place your Christmas tree inside of your glass and then add the stones. That way the tree doesn't fall out of the container and the container doesn't fall over. Now I'm going to use this scarf that I got at Dollar Tree. They actually have this in black and white, which I'm using, and red and black if you prefer that. I'm going to cut down pieces that I can wrap around the bottom of my glass. I slowly wrap my fabric around the glass and then I use a rubber band to place on the top of the fabric while I tie some twine in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some twine from Dollar Tree, wrap it around, then tie it. Once it's tied down, I go ahead and remove that rubber band. You guys already know the drill here. I go ahead and add some greenery to make this thing look better and then this time around I sprayed it with some fake snow. You can leave it just like this, super inexpensive to do, or you can add some decor. I added some buffalo check ribbon around my Christmas tree. I glued on some pine cones that I got from Dollar Tree and I topped it off with some ornaments that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I had gotten them for only $6 when they were half off. But now Dollar Tree does carry buffalo check options. Before it was just the scarf and that's about it. Now they have like bows, they have ornaments, a bunch of different ones. But how pretty are these? I made two without the bigger ornaments and then one with them. Let's make some garland. From Dollar Tree you can pick up their buffalo check scarves. I got this one in black and white but they also carry a red and black one. Now you're going to cut pieces off of the scarf. I'm doing pieces that are about two inches wide, but you can honestly do them as wide as you like. You'll also want to get some ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm using a burlap ribbon, but again, you can use whichever ribbon you like. I cut pieces of ribbon down to be the same length as the pieces of scarf that I cut up. 
Now I just take some twine that I got from Dollar Tree and I use it to glue to the center of my pieces of fabric. And then I just flip the fabric over and that's it. It's so simple to do. You can use any type of ribbon, any type of fabric, and you can go to different stores to get different type of materials. This is so easy and it looks really nice. These are one of my favorite things to DIY. From Dollar Tree, you can pick up some of their beads and you have the option here of painting them. If you're gonna paint them yourself, I recommend putting them through a bamboo skewer and then just kind of placing them inside of a basket that has holes and then you can paint them real easily this way, whether it be by hand or spray paint. I, however, don't like doing this and I prefer just to get beads already painted at like Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I get more bang for my buck and I don't have to do any of the painting. Now I'll be using these wreath rings from Dollar Tree. There's three of them and I'm going to be taking out the smallest one and using that one. I cut it in half using wire cutters and then I take the little, I don't know what to call them, they're just like these little circles. I take one of them off so that I can feed my beads through both sides. I'm using the garland I got from Walmart. It was $5.98. I got a whole lot of beads and had a whole lot left over. So I feed my beads through the wire and then I tape the wire back together. Once I have the tape down, I added some glue near the beads that are closest to the tape. Now it's time to decorate this. I got these really pretty holly berry floral from Dollar Tree. I take it apart and I start gluing that to the front of my wreath. And then I added this small little rolling pin that I made and I'll link that tutorial down below for you guys, but it's just very easy to do. And I went ahead and just glued that to the front of this and then topped this off with a bow. These are some of the easiest wreaths to make and they're so nice. If you like to do craft shows and sell at craft shows, I feel like these are really nice and are inexpensive to make. Let's do some Christmas bathroom decor. From Dollar Tree, you can go into the bathroom accessory section and just pick up whatever you want. Now, this is a Dollar Tree option. You could get their rub on transfers. They carry different ones in different fonts and cut those out to spell whatever you like. So on this, I put joy using some gold rub on transfer stickers. You place them over, rub them into place, and then peel the plastic off. You'll be left with something like this. Now I own a Cricut, so I prefer to use my Cricut to cut out vinyl and in the Ray Dunn font. So you can find Ray Dunn font free online or you can buy it on Etsy for cheap. And I just got a bunch of accessories from Dollar Tree, place my vinyl on top, rub it in, and peel. And then it ends up looking like some Ray Dunn stuff, but I only paid $3 for all of it. Another idea is just to buy some dinnerware from Dollar Tree and do the exact same thing. If you have vinyl on hand, you can just place it over the pieces from Dollar Tree and make it look like Ray Dunn pieces. I did that with this plate and a couple of mugs and look how pretty they turned out. You can also get a crate from Dollar Tree, paint it whatever color you like, and then some chalkboard tags from Dollar Tree. You'll glue the chalkboard tag to the front of your crate. I cut out some vinyl that said washcloths. It was a little too big, so it ended up having to go with washcloth on the front. And then I added some stickers, some red and green towels inside of the little crate. And then I have this piece that is great for the bathroom. It looks like a cute piece of like decoration. And at the same time, you can obviously use the washcloths inside of there. We're gonna make a little Christmas tray here from Dollar Tree. You can pick up one of their pizza pans and then some decorative nautical rope. That is Cooper Coffin in the background. What you're gonna do is you are gonna glue the nautical rope on the very edge of the pizza pan. You okay? He's okay. And then you can layer it to make it as deep as you like your tray. Once that is done, Okay, once that is done, I take an ornament, those Dollar Tree ornaments, and I take the top off of the ornaments and I glue them around the tray just to jazz it up a bit. I don't know why the footage got lost here, but basically I painted the tray white and added a dolly from Dollar Tree to the bottom. And then I filled this up with some pieces. Um, it was just like mason jars I painted white from Dollar Tree and then this candle pillar that I made using Dollar Tree products. Hey, Cooper. So that's it for these Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time with another Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. Take care, bye.